Hello so guys, today I'm gonna to go through some things that could maybe give you the problem that you can't go live and give you this problem over here. So let me show you. Fail to connect problem. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix this if you're like trying to do something, if you're trying to go live. It could be some couple reasons, like number one, it could be your internet connection. But most likely guys, if you're using an ethernet cable, it's not the case. So let's go over to our settings. And what you wanna do is you wanna go over to advanced. On advanced, what you want to do is go over to network and get this back to default. So make sure it's on default and you just want to go ahead and just maybe enable this one. Dynamically change bitrate. You can do that if you want that. If you don't want like dropped frames. Now click on apply and test out again. So if it still gives you a thing like this. So let me show you. If it still gives you something like this. Mostly guys, uh, you can also change it to your IP. So on default, you can just change that to your IP or general IP and test it again. But if that still doesn't work out for you, what you can do is you can go back to settings, go over to stream, and you wanna make sure that the stream key that you're using is right. So what do I mean with that? What you can do is you can go over to YouTube Studio, go to live and get your stream key. Or you can just search up YouTube stream key and then you just can log in and stuff like that and get your stream key of your account. And then you just want to enter that on here and click on apply. That's really simple to do it. And now what you can do is you can just start streaming. But like for example, my stream key over here is not right. I need to update that. So I can just simply go to YouTube and just get it from there. Just search up stream key and we'll just get it really easily. And what I can do is for example, once I switch to Twitch, this one is actually connected. So let's just go ahead and click on apply. And what you can do is on here, you just go to start streaming and it's actually gonna record. So I'm gonna show you right now. It's now actually recording guys. I mean actually streaming. So I just want to stop the streaming over here and it just works out perfectly fine. So let's just say that you have some problems still and you cannot do anything. What I recommend you guys to do is just resetting your settings and how do you do that? You want to go over to scene collection first off. So we save our scenes. You go to exports and you just save it up as something that you want and just save it up on here. And then if you want it back, you can go to back to import and on the import, you can go to add and add your scene back really easily from here. So let's just say that you still have some problems. What you can do is you can just go to scene collection and the added scene will be around here and you can just select it and it will be just gonna show your scenes on here. And now let's just go ahead and show you guys how you can reset your settings. Go to show settings folder. And on here, you want to select them all, right click, go to delete. And once you do this, guys, it will most likely just get rid of all of your settings. It will just default all of your settings. And now you can just try to log back in and stuff like that and see if it works out for you. Really simple. And if deleting these don't work, close off your OBS and try to delete them like this. It's most likely going to work. And once you restart it, it will just work perfectly fine and you can start to stream. So yeah, that's basically the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can drop a like and also subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So thanks for watching guys. Take care of yourself and goodbye.